Hello everyone, welcome to another Friday new product post here at Sparkfun Electronics. We've got a couple interesting products to talk about in demo, so let's jump right in and see what they are. This is our newest logic level converter, and for those of you interested in logic level converters, you might like to know that this is a four channel bi-directional logic level converter. Why does this matter to you? Well, there's some communications like I2C and SPI that actually go back and forth, and so you need a bidirectional logic level converter to convert the levels back and forth, not just the one way. So with the four channel bidirectional allows you to do exactly that. So it allows you to do I2C, SPI, and other protocols that require the bidirectional logic level conversion. This will work with 1.8 volts, 2.3 volts, 3.3, 5 volts, all the popular different communication voltages. Um, we have a nice little hookup diagram for this, so check that out. It'll give you all that you need to know about hooking this up, using it, and converting your logic levels. Next up, we've got this roll of tape. This is not ordinary tape. This is um, a double stick tape, but this is Z-axis tape. Z-axis tape is pretty darn mind-boggling, actually. It is a tape that you stick it down and then put something on top of it, just like you would with a normal double stick tape but it only conducts electricity in the z-axis, or up and down. So it will not conduct left to right, side by side, or the x or the y. It will only conduct straight through it. It has a lot of different uses, and this particular roll is actually a half an inch by three meters long. Now, you might be familiar with something similar to this in, let's say, a multimeter. If you've ever ripped apart anything with an LCD, you might have seen row of pins up there, right? So you've got your pins, and then those actually attach to your LCD display through a zebra connector. So what this is, it's a flexible little silicone pad that when you press it on there, it makes contact, and that's what gives you your connection. So these two things are not soldered together. The thing about a zebra connector is it just kind of sits there. They're very hard to get. They're usually pretty custom, and they are actually segmented. The difference with Z-Tape is you can actually just put down a piece of tape and then take this and connect it and you don't have to cut segments or do anything like that. It just conducts straight up through. Here is one of our SparkFone Redboards. If you look closely, you can see that we actually have a pad of tape, Z-axis tape, holding the Atmega 328 on. What we did is we actually just took some hot air, removed the Atmega 328, and just literally applied a piece of tape like that, stuck the 328 on it, and I'll show you it actually works like this. So we've only had this on there for about an hour or so, so it hasn't fully set, so I'm gonna apply some pressure with my finger. But, there you go. That is the blink sketch that we're running on an Atmega 328 that is held in place just by tape. So that is all we have for this week. Be sure to check out the Logic Level Converter and um, also check out the product page and look at the hookup guide if you're not familiar with Logic Level Converters and want to learn a little bit more about them. Just click on the link to the hookup guide and read all about how to use them, how to hook them up, and what they do. And also be sure to check out the Z-axis tape, which is pretty cool. So we'll see you again next week with even more new products.